and awesome and amazing morning to everyone. This is Robin Inka, part of Astrana of Science and Technology Education Center. Welcome to my Science 6 class, Section Albert Einstein, Region 7. We will start our learning session by recognizing God. So I may I request uh, to yeah. enlighten us and to start our class. Uh, we need the uh, intervention of our Almighty God. May I call in Michaela Habiluna for the opening prayer. Dear God and Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for all your mighty ways in providing all our needs. Thank you for your protection and unconditional love. Give us the knowledge, understanding, and wisdom that we need to help us focus our hearts and minds about the lesson that we are about to learn today. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit to do things cheerfully and with gratefulness in our hearts. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much. Now, for our lesson targets, our main topic is about classifying mixtures. And it is based on the most essential learning competency for grade 6, uh, describe the appearance and uses of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture. So at the end of the lesson, you are expected to determine general characteristics of mixtures. Second, classify and explain homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures and realize the essence of mixtures in our daily lives. Are mixtures important in our lives? You will be answering that in a while. So now, okay, um, do you think these targets or these objectives are uh, realistic enough? Can I hear a response to you? Can you do all these objectives? Can I hear a yes, 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 if you can do it? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yes, yes, right. yes, yes, yes. Yes. Anyway, what kind of foods and drinks have you had for meals? So you have varied uh, meals this morning for sure. But to tell you honestly, all right, the food that we take today is made up of mixtures. Do you agree with teacher B? Yes, yes. 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 all yes. right. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. So please don't forget to un to mute your microphone. That can help you a lot. Now at this point of time, get ready with your uh, other device or you can split screen your laptop or your desktop for the pretest. Are you excited for the pretest? By the way, please do your best in answering the Kahoot game because I will be giving prizes. I will give you load if you have your cell phone. If you have no cell phone, you cannot Yay. get the load. <laughs> yes, Yay. you can. Yeah, but uh, yes, your prize is worth 50 pesos load. Yes, if you will be in the top three. Yay. Yay, so are you excited for this? I hope so. All right, so get ready. All right, again, prepare your cell phone or you can split screen your laptop and peel good job next which of the following does not describe a mixture red two or more pure substances combined physically but not chemically yellow the two types of mixtures are homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture blue Big substances do not react with one another or change in color. Green, there will be new product. Alright, the correct answer is there will be new product.
product form. This is correct. Most of your answers are blue. Mixed substances do not react with one another nor change in property. This is one of the description of a mixture. As you can see in our targets or objective, you must be able to describe a mixture. Now, what is a mixture? A mixture is a two or more pure substances combined physically but not chemically. Second, the two types of mixtures are homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture. Another description, mixture is a mixed substances that do not react with one another nor change in property. So the green one does not describe a mixture, meaning to say mixture will not create new product. All right. Which of the following does not describe homogeneous mixture? Red, the components are hard to distinguish from one another. Yellow, the original characteristic of each of the components do not change. Blue, each component has no visible boundaries. Green, the air is not an example of a homogeneous mixture. example of a homogeneous mixture is wrong okay it does not describe but uh, the air is an example of a homogeneous mixture yes all right congratulations to the nine students who got it right sign up as a student in your ed puzzle go to edpuzzle.com someone is sharing okay simon already share his screen Okay, a moment, Simon. The question is, what is a next year? To work. Please do it properly, focus, because I will be asking question in a while. Question. The question is, what is a next year? Doing the activity in Ed Puzzle, you cannot proceed without getting the without answering a certain question right so that's why you need to listen carefully if you are not sure of your answer you can rewatch you can click rewatch simon so that you will get perfect you can click rewatch so view it again recognize that there are actually two different types of mixtures we're going to be chocolate and sugars at the bottom of the of the of the glass but basically when you just drink chocolate milk it, it feels like and tastes like the flavor is evenly distributed all the way throughout the chocolate milk and that's because in a homogeneous mixture all the particles are evenly distributed and if we go ahead and we take a look down here at lemonade we see lemonade is also an evenly distributed mixture so it's also going to be homogeneous and if we come down here to Salt water. Salt water, you find, is also a homogeneous mixture, primarily. If you just look at just specifically the salts and the water in it, not some of the other particles that may be floating around, which would make it more or less 
heterogeneous. And now let's go back to, over to heterogeneous. For things that are heterogeneous, such as trail mix, you can see trail mix is actually pretty cool. There are all kinds of goodies in there. But let's say, for example, all you were interested in having were the uh, green M&Ms. Well, if you just wanted the green M&Ms, you could take those out, which means for a mixture, you can separate it by physical means. It means you can take it apart. Let's go ahead and take a look down here at a salad. Let's say you didn't want to have cucumbers in it. Well, you could take just the cucumbers out. You could take it apart by physical means. And that's important to know when you're talking about the the difference between heterogeneous and homogeneous. Number one, homogeneous means everything's evenly distributed throughout. Heterogeneous means, no, things are not evenly distributed per, uh, throughout. Yet for both, you can take them apart by physical means. And let's go ahead and take a look down here at some granite. The particles of rock that make up granite, well, they are not evenly distributed. Not like they are in lemonade, not like they are in chocolate milk, and not like they are in salt water. The particles that make up a piece of granite are not evenly distributed. So whenever something is evenly distributed throughout, it's homogeneous. When the particles that make up the matter are not evenly distributed throughout, it's heterogeneous. But both for homogeneous and for heterogeneous, you can both separate them by physical means, and that makes them be very much in common. Please click the link https slash slash edpuzzle.com so that you can join easily. Click the link. Don't ask for the code anymore. Click the link here. Again, I sent a link in the chat box. Please open that one. All right. Okay, I will check the grade book to monitor your work. I can see your score here, all right? So congratulations to, to okay, a moment. Uh, Mary Rose got 60, Troa got 80, Nathaniel 100, wow, in just three minutes, three. And Ethan also got 60. So it's not just a matter of how fast you're able to answer, but how, how focused you are in doing the activity. And you cannot go, you cannot do it again. All right. That's why you need to be careful in doing the Ed Puzzle activity. You continue doing your work. All right. So... We have now homogeneous mixtures are often drinks, while heterogeneous mixtures are often food. So I hope you have learned already more about mixtures, homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. So you can see your task in the class notebook, specifically in the collaboration space, okay? All of you can access this one. Teacher also can access this part. All right. Yes, here. For group one, okay? You have here. Yes. And you can also check the rubrics regarding the group activities. So you have here. Please take note with the rubric regarding the content. Okay. For the content, like, did the presentation have valuable material? So you can get four points. 
if the presentation had an exceptional amount of valuable material and was extremely beneficial to the class. Then another thing that you will consider, the collaboration. What do you mean by collaboration? Did everyone contribute to the presentation? Since this is a group task, so there is a need for each group members to cooperate or to collaborate with each other. So did everyone seem well versed in the material? So you can get four points, the highest point, if the teammates always work from others' ideas. And it was evident that all of the group members contributed equally to the presentation. Another thing that uh, needs to be considered is the organization. Like, was the presentation well organized and easy to follow? Yeah, so make sure the presenters can present your work uh, well, all right? Then for you to get the highest points, uh, the presentation was well organized, well prepared, and easy to follow. And the last thing is the presentation value. Like, did the presenter speak clearly? Did they engage the audience? Was it obvious the material had been rehearsed? Okay, you need mastery, especially for the presenter. For the group to get the four points, uh, presenters were all very confident. So presenter must be confident in delivery. And they did an excellent job of engaging the class. So preparation is very evident. Okay. Yes. So you can see the rubrics in each group. Okay. So I have here, uh, I have added all your tasks. And of course, you need to attach your output here in this space here below the rubric. Okay, if it's a, a video, you can attach the video here or you can also add link for some other materials. It's up to you. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, classmates. I uh, we are. I am here to report about the homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture made by Group One leader Raven Efren Bacolod, reporter Bilbo Carrasco, secretary Chris Ethan Abing, members Simon Arbitrario. Mary Rose Tam, Zach Gregory Balupinos, Arian Kate Malata. What is a homogeneous mixture? A homogeneous mixture is a mixture in which the composition is uniform throughout the mixture. It is a solid, liquid, or gaseous mixture that has the same proportions of its components throughout any given sample. Did you know a solution is a special type of homogeneous mixture where the ratio of solute to solvent remains the same throughout the solution and the particles are not visible with the naked eye. What are the examples of homogeneous mixture? Coffee, tea, alcohol, soda, and juice. What is a heterogeneous mixture? A heterogeneous mixture is a mixture which the composition is not uniform throughout the mixture. The composition varies from one region to another with at least two phases that remain separate from each other with clearly identifiable properties. If you examine a sample of a heterogeneous mixture, you can see the separate components. What are the examples of heterogeneous mixture? Pizza, chocolate chip cookie, oil and water, fruit salad, and trail mix. Everyone, today I'm gonna tell you what homogeneous mixture, heterogeneous mixtures, and the difference between them. But first, let me tell you what mixtures are. When two or more substances are combined together, physically we get a mixture. 
Also remember that there are two types of mixtures, homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. So, what is homogeneous mixture? Well, the word homo means the same. A mixture which has uniform composition throughout its mass is called homogeneous mixture. By uniform composition, we mean you cannot see or observe the particles of homogeneous mixture with a naked eye. For example, you mix table salt with water, you get homogeneous mix mixture. Remember, you cannot spot a particle, so we call it a homogeneous mixture. So, what is a heterogeneous mixture? Well, mixture which has non-uniform composition throughout its mass is called heterogeneous mixture. By non-uniform composition, we mean that we can see the particles of substances with the naked eye. For example, you mix oil and water. It is known as a heterogeneous mixture. Secondly, you can recognize the layer of oil above the water. Just remember that when we observe or see the particles of different substances within the mixture, it is called a heterogeneous mixture. Now finally, let me tell you the difference between homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture has uniform composition throughout its mass, while heterogeneous mixture has non-uniform composition throughout its mass. Secondly, a homogeneous mixture has no visible boundary of separation, while in heterogeneous mixture, there is a visible boundary of separation. Thirdly, all homogeneous mixture is called solution, while all the suspe suspension and colloid means heterogeneous mixture. Fourthly, we cannot see the particles in a homogeneous mixture with a naked eye, while we can see particles in a Yes, very good, group one. By the way, uh, you did a very good job. Wow, teacher is so glad. But before that one, let me, uh, let me emphasize this one. Everybody unmute your microphone and follow teacher Ruby. Everybody say, homogeneous. <laughs> Homogeneous. Homogeneous. Okay. Heterogeneous. Heterogeneous. Homogeneous. Homogeneous. Hello and good morning, everyone. Today's presentation are from Dun 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 Group Four. Alright, we're not gonna present. May I present to you our acid Jen T. Abril, our reporter Ayomi Isabel Icapasho, our note taker which is me, Nikela Lauren Di Cabiluna, and our members Rinoa Rico Antegro, Amelia Elise Pisa Bihon, Kara Kifira Pilapil, and Angela Christine L. Antonio. Unfortunately, I will be the one to report today because I was the one who made the kahoot, but always put in mind that we work together on the questions. So without further ado, let's move on with the kahoot game. Everyone, please go to kahoot, that's it. And the pin is 6201A2. Diamond. Combination of salt and liquid, triangle, combination of two or more substances combined through physical means, circle, combination of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. We have lots of answers. Okay. Let's see. The correct answer is triangle. Now let's see the rank. Wow, Mary Rose is on top. Follow me, um, Daniel Gabe and Adrian Luxi Here's the video. Okay, Mary Rose, you're doing today. How to separate salt and pepper. Here are the ingredients that we need. Salt, pepper, half a spoon, and we can use a rug or a hair. 
So now we are going to pour. And you put it again and back and back and back until all the pepper will be gone. But why does it suck out the pepper? Here is the answer. When you place the spoon on top of the pepper, the positively charged pepper is attracted to the negatively charged spoon. A what? is a mixture okay as you can see here below there are some pictures like milk uh, vegetable salad uh, mixture of salt and pepper of course here a mixture of chocolate and a drink now what really a mixture is mixture refers to a material that composed of two or more elements or compounds that are physically mixed together but not chemically combined. So, I would like you to notice the word physically mixed. Okay, so whatever type of mixture it's still mixed physically, but not chemically. And we need to have an information about the characteristics of mixtures. For its general characteristics, first, the combined substances can be mixed in different proportions. So, for example, you combine uh, salt and water. So, in whatever proportion it is, when you combine them, that's already a mixture. Substances do not react with one another. Substances that are mixed together do not change their properties yes as we all know mixtures are just mixed physically but not chemically that's why the properties do not change the properties of the component substances will remain the same so since the properties remain the same, that means to say there's a great possibility for these mixtures to be separated by physical means as well. So, with mixtures, there will be no new product that will be formed. And this is uh, one fact. Okay, but we will not discuss it uh, in detail this moment, but in the next lesson. Okay, so this is the fact. Mixture can be separated by physical methods such as shaving, decantation, distillation, and chromatography to name a few. That means to say there are many ways on which we can separate mixture by physical methods. I hope you will research ahead about this topic. Okay, this will be for the next lesson. Again, I'm giving you now the 
a full view of what are the types of mixtures. So there are two main types of mixtures, homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures. And for homogeneous mixture, there's another term for this, and this is what we call as solutions, all right? Solution, solutions are homogeneous mixtures. So all homogeneous mixtures are solutions. Next type, the second type of mixtures is heterogeneous mixtures. And there are two types of heterogeneous mixtures. This is what we call as colloids and suspensions. Again, there are two types of heterogeneous mixtures, the colloids and the suspensions. Now, we will dig deeper. What do you mean by homogeneous mixtures? And in this part here, I have included pictures as examples of homogeneous mixtures. So it's here, fruit juice, rubbing alcohol. I know we have been using alcohol these days, especially during this uh, pandemic. And soda drink, there are different kinds of soda drink or known as soft drinks, okay, that belong to homogeneous mixture. Coffee, milk, yes. And as you can see here on this side, homogeneous mixture uh, molecules are arranged this way. Okay, now let's have the uh, explanation or some facts about homogeneous mixture. The word homo means the same. Okay, from the word itself, homogeneous. So homo means the same. Homogeneous mixture is a type of mixture that looks the same all throughout. That means to say you cannot identify a certain matter in the homogeneous mixture. Okay, yes, components cannot be distinguished from each other or have uniform composition. Others also define homogeneous mixture as having uniform composition. In a glance, we cannot differentiate the matter within that mixture. Each component has no visible boundaries, yes. And the original characteristics of each of the components do not change, meaning to say the properties of the substances being mixed do not change at all. Yes, homogeneous mixtures are also called solutions. So, all this talk about what a homogeneous mixtures. Next, moving on to heterogeneous mixture. Before I will give the description of heterogeneous mixture, take a look at these photos here. You can see a salad, mixed uh, vegetable salad. Here also mixed biscuits, all right? Then here, a uh, mixture of water and oil, all right? Then take a look also here. You can see how the molecules are arranged in heterogeneous mixture. Okay, moving on to the facts about heterogeneous mixture. The word hetero means different, all right? Again, the word hetero from the word heterogeneous means different. Heterogeneous mixtures is a type of mixture that does not have a consistent appearance all 
throughout. The word, the word here is does not have a consistent appearance. The components of a heterogeneous mixture can be distinguished from one another. Heterogeneous mixtures has two types, namely suspensions and colloids. So I would like to emphasize this one. Suspensions and colloids are heterogeneous mixtures. Now, so I guess I have already presented the facts about uh, classifying and explaining about homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture and teacher was very glad because based from your group task that you presented a while ago you have already there some ideas what a mixture is so what teacher Ruby is doing right now is just on emphasis about the facts about the topic on classifying mixtures. Now moving on to the third objective. Realize the essence of mixtures in our daily lives. All right. Now, what is the importance of mixtures in our lives? Let me hear from Enzo. Enzo, why do you think mixtures are important in our lives? Hello, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, Enzo. Go ahead. The reason why I think mixtures are important in our lives because they can make almost anything. They can make our food, our drinks. They can even make things to protect us like, against COVID-19. That's all, teacher. Washing wow. clothes or cleaning ourselves. And air, we can use that to breathe so that we can live. Wow, and, very awesome! What else, Ayumi? And different types of mixtures can make food so that for survival and mixtures are an important essence so that they can help us survive and live that is all teacher ruby again ayumi you did a very great uh, response to teacher ruby all right for the wrap up okay for the wrap up always remember that uh, mixtures can be any combination of a certain material that are being combined physically but not chemically and there are two types of uh, mixtures homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixture of course when we talk about homogeneous mixture we cannot identify the components all right because the components are the same all throughout all right but heterogeneous mixture it's easy for us to identify its components because the it is not uh that is it, it's not combined really that much and of course the solution is another term for homogeneous mixtures our solutions are examples of homogeneous mixtures and Examples or type of heterogeneous mixtures are colloids and suspen suspensions. I will share this PowerPoint presentation. Can you see my screen, guys? Okay. Yes, sir. Sure. Sure. Good. So you will choose a slide, meaning to say you will add a slide here. You can go to home and click new slide. Then write your complete name so that no one can take that slide then show a presentation that shows the difference between homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture you can add pictures or description just to show that uh, there's a difference between homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture then you can design your own slide but without clicking the design tab here you can only uh, change the design in your own slide okay can I hear a yes, 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 if you hear my instructions? Yes, yes, yes. yes Very yes, good. Yes. So let me share this one. I hope you will do the activity. Oh. 
All right, thank you very much, Bill, for sharing your screen. I see everyone collaborating with each other. So I can see here the work of Amelia, yes. Also, the work of Renoa. We also have here the work of Dave. And Robert also did his best. And of course, Astrid. I also see the work of Sean, Michaela, and of course, Kurt. All right. But wow, the work of Raven is also awesome. Yes, it has pictures and some text. Same with Peel. Okay. And of course, Ayumi. Yes, great job for this. And of course, we have Aryan Kate Malata. And a very cute output from Janine De Los Santos. Yes, Janine, good job. And we also have here the work of Bea, Matt Kenji, and also the work of Andrea. And of course, the work of Inzo. Congratulations. So, uh, that's good. And keep it up, guys. Okay, keep your task um, awesome, as always. Thanks. All right. Now, for us to elaborate more, I want you to go to your Quizlet.com live and enter the code 215015. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Can I hear a yes, yes, yes if you enjoy the activity? Yes, 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 It feels refreshing somehow. All right. Thank you for that. Okay, let's move to the next activity. So, in a complete sentence or sentences, give your learnings about the topic classifying mixtures. So, this time, go to www.menti.com and use the code 132289. Okay, let me go to the... Wow, I learned about mixtures and the two types of mixture, heterogeneous mixture and homogeneous mixture. 
Okay, so what's lacking here is period because teacher is asking a complete sentence but very good job. Another, mixtures are classified into two parts, homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Okay, I got now two responses. In the said topic, I learned so much more things about mixtures. I find it fun and interesting. All right. Next, I know what the difference of homogeneous and heterogeneous. Me, okay, very good. Another, what I learned about classifying mixtures is that there are two types of mixtures, homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures, and how they can be separated. Yes, for our next topic, we will study on how to separate mixtures. Classifying mixtures is all about the mixtures like homogeneous mixtures, heterogeneous mixtures, and they are important in our lives. Very good. This is correct. I learned about the two types of mixtures, homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. All right. Okay. My learnings are the two types of mixtures, how useful they are in our life. Yes. Just imagine without mixtures, I don't know if we can live. I learned that mixtures are very important because everything around us are combination of substances. Very good. This is awesome answer. Another? Okay. I learned in the topic classifying mixture is what a mixture is, the examples, which is heterogeneous and homogeneous. And these examples, the lesson made me want to study science more. Wow! I hope you will learn, you will uh, pursue on studying science more and more. The learnings that I know about mixtures are that these are two kinds of mixtures, or there are two kinds of mixtures, homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures. And now I know how to classify a mixture. And one thing they are important for us to save our life. Exactly. Mixtures really save our lives. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Another one here. Okay. I've learned about the two types which were homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture. And I also learned that learning was very fun. Thank you, Teacher B. Yes, you're welcome. All of you are welcome. Okay. I learned that mixtures are really helpful for us. Exactly. It's so hard to live without mixtures. Okay. Keep coming. I have now 24 responses. In this call, well, we are 31, so I expect 30 responses for this. So I still wait for the five respondents. Okay, here. I have learned that classifying mixtures is not just some easy job, but you must classify them carefully through observing them. Yes, you are correct. Another here. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Keep coming. 25 respondents. I still need 5 responses, please. Okay. You know what? Learning must be fun. That's why please enjoy every step of the way. Because you're not just having fun. At the same time, you're learning. And uh, learning is... A series of skills. We need to develop one skill, another skill, okay, from from a very easy skill uh, up to becoming uh, a complicated one. So, one thing that I'm so glad with you guys is that you're now very good when it comes to ICT integration. You know how to use PowerPoint very well. You know how to use your Word document. You know how to create videos. You know how to create games via uh, Kahoot and some other platforms. 
Yes, keep learning. Okay, and how I wish you can create your own mobile app via uh, the one that I introduced you. Could you still remember that one? Power apps. Yes, power apps. Just study more about power apps so that one day you will be amazed. You already know how to make your mo own mobile app. All right. Another thing here. Okay, here. Um, what I learned about classifying mixture is that there are two types of mixture, homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture, and how they can be separated. All right, now I have 27 responses. I'm waiting for the last three. Okay. Thank you so much for these answers. Anyway, Teacher Ruby can, uh, can download all your responses here so I can review all your answers. Yes. So, thank you so much for submitting your responses here. I trust you. I believe that you are the one who created or who make these sentences. Now, this activity is what we call as authentic assessment. Why teacher will be uh, utilize this one? Because uh, we are having an online distance learning activity. And of course, it's so hard for teacher to verify if you are the one doing the activity or you are the one taking the test. So, in the evaluation part, uh, I utilize the authentic assessment uh, with the use of Flipgrid uh, or from flipgrid.com. Yes, um, my learners have already an account with this because they have been using this platform even before the COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, they have a lot of uh, recorded video already in this account. Yes, but for today's lesson about classifying mixtures, okay, with the use of their mobile phone or laptop camera, they need to record a two-minute video maximum of themselves expressing the three main points, uh, namely characteristics of mixtures, explanation on the difference between homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures with examples and of course they need to tell the essence of mixtures in their daily lives and for them to be graded they need to be guided with this uh, rubric like for content and ideas okay maximum of five points and for delivery or performance uh, that's another five points and a total of ten points. I'm Beth Derdomo and I'm here to tell you my answers for these three wonderful questions that Teacher B gave us. Here on the screen. My first answer for the first question is a mixture is a blending of two or more dissimilar substances. A major characteristic of mixture is that the material do not chemically combine. Mixtures can be divided into those that are evenly distributed or homogeneous, and those that aren't are heterogeneous. My second answer for the second question is a homogeneous mixture has the same uniform appearance and composition throughout. Many homogeneous mixtures are commonly referred to as solutions. A heterogeneous mixture are, are, consists of visibility different substances or phases. The three phases or states of matter are gas, liquid, and solid. My third answer for the third question is, the essence of a mixture is used on the daily life of cooking and other. If there is no mixture, we could not really live. Thank you for watching my video. Bye! Stay safe! Alright, so for that response or answer of Bea uh, as a formative test in classifying mixtures, so uh, when it comes to idea, yes, she got it right. And of course, her performance is also excellent. So I can give her perfect five. So all in all, she got 10 points. Yes. Then, of course, I want to share this stack. Yes.
Yeah, this one in the general channel. Okay, then click share. Okay, I need to close. Then let me check in that class team. Yes, the response of Bea is already here. I can even open it inside Teams. Yay! So that's how awesome Microsoft Teams is. It's easy for me to uh, organize the responses of my learners. Hello everyone, I am Andrea and today I'm going to tell important things about mixtures. So, what are mixtures? So, mixtures are a combination of two or more substances combined together to create another substance. So, the characteristics of mixtures are, it is an impure substance, there is no formula created, they can be mixed in any ratio, the properties of the mixture are the properties of the constituents, constituents can be easily separated by physical methods like heating, drying, etc. And it is either homogeneous or heterogeneous. The difference between the homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures is that the homogeneous is it is a mixture in which the composition is uniform while heterogeneous does not have a uniform composition. An example of a heterogeneous mixture is sand. And an example of homogeneous mixture is coffee. So the importance of mixtures is that mostly all things in our surroundings are mixtures. And without all these things, we can't live the way we are living right now. Oh, bye! Alright, Andrea is doing her best. Okay, congratulations, Andrea. Okay, let's try to share this also in our Microsoft Teams channel. Let's Right. All right, in the general channel. Okay, this is your assignment class. Research about the ways on separating mixtures. And with the use of a Word document, organize your research output and submit it in your class notebook. Okay, again, for your assignment, Research about the ways on separating mixtures. With the use of a Word document, organize your research output and submit it in your class notebook, private space, in homework channel. This is an individual activity. Individual research activity. Yes. As a teacher, I always believe that learners need endless feedback more than they need endless teaching. After our virtual class session, I need to revisit the flipkid.com to check all the videos submitted by my learners as a form of formative assessment on a topic about classifying mixtures. And of course, I need to watch it one by one and of course rate it according to the rubrics given. And after which, I need to share all the outputs to our class team in Microsoft Teams, uh, specifically in the general channel, and they can see it in their post. And of course, the learners will be notified that the teachers will be checking their output, the data or the scores of the learners. And when you click the icon expert data, of course, the score will be downloaded in an Excel file. And there, the scores of the learners after it is downloaded in the Excel file. So you can see um, the, their score in the performance and in the ideas part. Technology will never replace great teachers, but technology in the hands of great teachers is transformational.